Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Today we're going to be taking a look at another Mywo product. It is another enclosure, but this one's a little bit different in that it is a... Um, what, do, what do you call those little stick drives? Those little SSDs, the NVMe drives or whatever? These little guys. You know what I'm talking about, this thing. Anyway, um, yeah, what I've got here is an enclosure for uh, one of these little SSDs. Um, now, obviously, the one I have right here is a WD Black SN750. It's a one terabyte. Um, it's a 2280. Uh, that refers to like how long and how wide it is. This particular enclosure uh, supports a whole bunch of different ones, and I'll go over that in a second. But first, let's just take a look at the box. Uh, obviously, we are enjoying our digital lives, I think, is fair to say. Um, again, we know that MyWo is a worldwide excellent storage supplier. Uh, let's see what we've got here. The model number is K1690P. It supports M key and B and M key M.2 solid state drives. Uh, we've got a speed of 10 gigabytes per second. It's USB-C. Uh, the material is aluminum alloy, which is good because, you know, these things generate quite a lot of heat, so you want that heat dissipation. Uh, we've got a little LED power indicator, uh, which is cool. It's compatible with Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And, yeah, cool. Let's open it up. Ooh, look at this. All right, so, um, all right. Uh, so that's the, that's the enclosure. I'll just put that off to the side for a second. Let's just dump out all this junk and see what we've got here. All right, so number one, we've got a USB-C to USB-C cable. Okay, nice. Uh, pretty short from what I can tell, but that's okay. Um, the fact that they've included that is always welcome. Uh, we've got our product warranty card. I believe you just scanned the QR code on the back here, and you know you can do that what you will. Um, what do we got here? Obviously, this is the instruction manual. Uh, it's obviously all in... Chinese. I mean, I'm sure there's some English on here somewhere, but anyway, I think I can figure this guy out. I don't think I really need that. Uh, what we've got here is the uh, heat pad thingy. Um, so basically, like I said before, these, these bad boys generate a lot of heat. So when you've got it in there, uh, what you want to do is you want to adhere this thing uh, or this this thing, I can't remember exactly how this goes. I think like this, I don't know. This, this thing's sticky, basically. This little rubbery little, I don't know, it looks like a stick of gum, honestly. Uh, you adhere to this, and then you go to here, and you put it on the drive like that, and that's supposed to, like, you know, take the heat away from the thing and, and dissipate it out into the thing, whatever. I don't know. Read the instructions. Uh, but anyway, it's good that it comes with that. And then in here, we've got the different size screws. Like I said before, the, um, the drive itself, and when I say screws, they're just the, like little, these little rubber things. Um, so basically, if we take a look at the enclosure, all right, actually, oh God, I can't even see these things. I'm just going to put them back in the little case here so I don't lose them. All right, here's the actual enclosure itself. Um, it feels pretty premium. Uh, you know, I don't mind the design. I mean, it's obviously got the logo on it, but you know, it feels pretty good. It's aluminum. Uh, obviously this bit's plastic here, but the way you open this is you kind of put your thumb on this and you push down and you slide up. And there you go, there is your little thingy. All right, you'll notice that that's the M.2 uh, connection there. So when we seat this guy, uh, we're, we've got to match up that little notch uh, to where it is here. You'll see that there's the little notch and the little connector there. Um, so you just want to make sure that you're um, putting it in properly. And the way that you install these guys is you kind of come in on an angle, right? And you just kind of like line it up, make sure it's seated properly, uh, which I'm not doing very well because I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> I apologize. So you want to just sort of like slot it in push it in, and it's gonna sit like that, right? So then what you need to do is you need to push that down, and obviously I've already got one of these little screws uh, already installed, and just twist it around so that, which I can't do because I got my fat fingers in the way, but twisting this around will let this, I can't even get this thing on here. I apologize. 
not doing very well. And anyway, I'm gonna take it out. <laughs> and basically what you do is you take this little guy and then you just kind of push him down into this little hole, which I can't seem to do. Again, I apologize. Uh, but that little screw is going to, that little rubber stopper, or whatever you want to call it, they call it a screw, I don't know if I'd really call it a screw, is going to basically uh, make it so that it's seated properly. Like I said, and then you basically put your little heat sink thing on here, and then uh, you just slide it on and it's ready to go. I'm going to slide it back into the, the case. Oh, it's upside down, my bad, wrong way. And you kind of install it just like that, and that's it. And then you've got your little USB connector. The little LED here uh, will come on when there's power to it, um, and it will flash when there's data transmitting happening. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, apologies for um, my inability to put this thing together, um, but you know, doing it through the the viewfinder of a camera is uh, was more difficult than I. Uh, I thought. Uh, but basically this guy supports a bunch of different ones. So obviously if you know anything about these M.2 drives, uh, they come in different little sizes. Uh, that's a standard one that's in here. That's uh, like a 2280 I think is what they call it. But there's all different sizes. You can get like the little ones that kind of go in, in different things. And basically you've got the, uh, the holes here um, match up or correspond with the different size drives that you can get. So just make sure that you're putting that screw in wherever it needs to be. Um, basically, I'm not going to worry about installing the heat sink right now. What I'm going to do quickly is I'm just going to connect this guy to my computer really quick just to show you uh, that it works or just to verify that the MyWo enclosure works. Um, and then I'll, you know, put it all together uh, properly at a later date, but just for speed purposes, we'll expedite this process a little bit. Anyway, um, I'll uh, connect this to my computer and we'll... Okay, so we've got the SSD enclosure connected to my computer. It's got the SSD in there. Uh, you'll see the cool little blue LED light indicating that it's on. Now, what we gotta do on my computer is open up something called disk management. Just go into like the little search bar down in your toolbar and type in disk management and this thing will pop up. And basically it shows you all the different hard drives that are connected to it. Because I've never used this drive before, uh, we have to initialize the disk, right? So what we're gonna do is, right where, right where it says disk one, right, it says 931 gigabytes, which is the one terabyte. Um, again, you always have a little bit less. Uh, but we're gonna right click on where it says disk one, we're gonna say initialize disk, right? And it's gonna ask you if you wanna do an MBR, a master boot record, or GPT, uh, which is a GUID, I think is how you pronounce that, uh, partition table. We're gonna do GPT uh, just because that is uh, better uh, for a variety of reasons I'm not gonna get into, but you can look it up online. And now what you'll see is that it has now been initialized, it's online, but the space is unallocated, which means that our computer doesn't see it yet. So what we gotta do is we gotta right click this little black bar here, and we're gonna say new simple volume. We're gonna go over, we're gonna just click through all this stuff. We're gonna, um, let's see, let's give it, I don't know, a cool drive letter. Let's do Z or Z if you're in America. Um, we'll click next. Uh, we're gonna do NTFS because that is uh, you know what Windows plays nicely with and it's pretty quick. Uh, you could do XFAT if you want. I'm just gonna keep it simple. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna name it one terabyte solid state drive, SSD, form a quick file format, that's fine, there's nothing on it, should take uh, not even a minute, and there we go, it's ready to go. So now you'll see that that black bar is blue, which means that this guy is ready to go, and there he is, he pops straight up, and what you can see here is it says one terabyte solid state drive up at the top, that's what I named it, it's got the drive letter of Z, we'll right click, we'll hit properties, um, again, you know, we have a little less than one terabyte. It's 931 gigabytes, but it's ready to go, um, which is great. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag over a folder of some photos. It should copy in no time. And there we go. And then I've got a larger movie file. So I ripped a Jeff Buckley Live in Chicago DVD the other day. And that is about 1.13 gigabytes. And I'm just gonna drag that over onto this guy and we'll see what sort of speeds we're getting. 
And it looks like we're getting about 25 megabytes per second. I'm actually a little surprised with the speed on this guy. Um, you'll notice that the blue uh, LED indicator light is flashing. That's because data is being transmitted to it or written to it. Um, again, I'm not sure why my speeds are, are slow. Um, if you watch my previous MIMO video, you'll notice that uh, the uh, 2.5 inch SSD enclosure uh, performed a little bit better. I think it was getting about 33 megabytes per second. Um, again, not sure why. It's probably a hardware issue on my end. My uh, computer that is connected to this right now is not the best, uh, so it's pretty old. Um, but anyway, uh, pretty happy with it. That's how you sort of initialize these things. If you need to essentially, uh, you know, reinstall Windows or back anything up, or if you're just using this guy as storage because they're a lot more, uh, you know, they're slimmer and they're smaller, um, you know, get the MIWO. Uh, pretty cheap. I'll leave a link down in the description. You can buy them right on Amazon. Um, and again, they are pretty cheap, uh, pretty inexpensive. But uh, anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thanks so much for watching. This is Gizmo Joe signing off.